All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regards to people here for a bit. A better day is coming. That's the name of this GMS on the go. A better day is coming for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. It's not going to be here. It's not going to be here in, in America, man. It's going to be when this place is annihilated, man. When the God of the Bible come back and annihilate this place and deliver the hopeful elect. Lord well, willing, we part of that number. Out of this place, a better day is coming. That's what we're hoping for. That's what we're praying for. That's what we're begging for. Through the scriptures, so I'm going to hop right into it. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 12. Looking for and hastening until the coming of the day of the Most High. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. So that's what we're looking forward to, man. That's what we're looking for, man. That's why we're stacking up treasures in heaven right about now. We ain't stacking up treasures on earth right about now, man. We're not trying to big build the biggest bank account known to mankind building houses and building buildings and things of that nature no man we're looking for the day of the lord man we hastening that day right we hastening the day man we can't wait to it to come man we can't wait for that day to come right it says we're in the heavens being on fire meaning this rulership right shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's the day we're looking forward to, man. And we don't know if we're going to make it. That's why we pray that we're part of the hope for a lot. But this is the day that we're looking forward to, man. A better day is coming, right? Nevertheless, we, the hope for a lot, according to his promise, look for new heavens. You know what I'm saying? Meaning a new rulership, man. A new ruler, right? Not this wicked one that we're up on a right about now, the oppressor. No, man. We're looking for new heavens, right? You see, that's what we're looking for, man. So we're sitting back patiently going through whatever we got to go through until it come, Lord will, right? It says, look for new heavens and a new earth. It's going to be the same earth, but those ICBM missiles is going to refresh the earth, man. It's going to replenish the earth. It's going to take out all the toxins, all the impurities. It's going to burn it all, man. Because fire is what? It's a cleansing agent, man. If you want to take the impurities out of something like gold, different metals, you put the fire to it, man. All right? This is wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. A better day is coming. Where the earth is going to be ran by righteous men. There's no going to be any more sickness for the children of Israel. Once again, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We're not going to be getting shot down and left dead in the street for hours. While spectators and onlooking people just look at you die down there, handcuffed. We're not going to be living in a world where nobody don't give a damn about you no more. No. We're going to really live. This is not living. You got people talking about they're living their best life. You're living your best life in hell. Where you can get shot down at any time? You, you're constantly a suspect? No. We look for new heavens, new rulers, right? It's going to rule in righteousness, man. That's what's coming, man. That's why, once again, we're stacking up our treasures in heaven, not upon the earth, man. Because everything that you see right now is temporal, man. And look, and that's our faith. That's our faith, right? Wherefore? Beloved, seeing that ye look, only only the hopeful elect is looking for these things to come to pass, man. New rulers that's going to rule in righteousness, only, we the only ones looking for things like that, man. Two-thirds, they don't care if they're being ran over by a wicked ruler. 
But we do though. What for, beloved, the house of David, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace. You got to be diligent in your studies. Diligent, you got to be about your father's business, man, until the Lord come and fulfill this scripture. Because look, it will come to pass. Look, it will come to pass. Though it tarry, wait on it. That ye may be found of him in peace. Found of who? In peace. Lord Yahweh shot, man. When he come back. What are they going to call Jesus Christ, right? Look, without spot. And blameless, man. You want to be blameless. When the Lord come back. When the Lord come back, you want to at least have the thoughts of saying, look, I did all I had to do. I laid it all down on the line. I taught the 100% truth according to the Bible. I didn't beguile anybody. I didn't lie to anybody. I didn't steal from nobody. I won't cover this over nobody. Because the Lord is coming back angry, man. And at the same time, the Lord is coming back with healing. This place won't set up to heal our people, man. That's why the, that's why Yahweh Bashim Shah gave us this word, man. The comforter. This word is supposed to comfort our people, man, in these troubling and perilous times, man. This is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 18. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And these words that we're reading right now, starting off with the apostles and elders of great millstone and the men on down, these words are supposed to comfort our people, man. They're catching pure hell over here in America. And the God of the Bible is giving us a way out, but we got to take heed to the word first, man. We got to do what is commanded of us to the best of our ability. So once again, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 18. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And what I just read in 2 Peter chapter 3, that should have comforted you Israelites, man. You should be real comforted right about now. Your spirit should be comforted right about now, knowing that a better day is coming. You ain't gonna always be the suspect, man. Nobody ain't gonna always follow you. Nobody's gonna follow you around in the kingdom. Uh, uh, hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy. No, man. That's gonna be a thing of the past, man. That's only happening here in America. The place that you're supposed to be free, right? The home of the free, the, the land of the free, the home of the brave, right? Which is a lie. We're going to be free when we get in the kingdom, man. Not here, man. And that's what you should be looking forward to. Habakkuk chapter 3. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision, a.k.a. the prophecy. Because this is, this is one of the prophecies right here, man. That the Lord is going to create new heavens and new earths, man. New rulers, man. He's going to refresh everything, man. For the vision, a.k.a. the prophecy, is yet for an appointed time. You got winter, spring, summer, and fall, right? They all come in its respective order, right? Just like these prophecies. It seems like it's taking a long time to happen, but it really ain't. We're in this flesh, man. And that spirit is ready to get out of this flesh, man. It breaks down by the second, man. The spirit is ready to get into that new body, man. This body right here is corrupted, man. The spirit is ready to get into that incorruptible body, man. That perfect body, right? And though it tarry, you got to wait on it. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. And we, the end is nearer than what we believe, man. That's what we got to hold on. Our writers are, man. You get to hold on. You got to fight that good fight of faith and lay hold unto eternal life, man. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, though it's, once again, though it seems like it's taking a long time for the Lord to come back and refresh everything, wait for it because it will surely come. Look, it will not tarry, man. So look, it's going to happen. Regardless of people here for bear, look, look, it's going to happen, man. It'll behoove you Israelites to stay in tune with what you have by Shem Yahushua saying, who they're going to call God and Jesus Christ, man. Forget everything else. And look, and that has to be your faith, man. 
will get that. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. That's your faith, man. That's your hope. That a better day is coming. A righteous kingdom is coming. That's our faith, man. To believe in something that we have never seen. But we believe that it's going to come. That's faith. Verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Without believing in these words, it's impossible to please Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, who you equally call God and Jesus Christ. You Israelites, right? You can't please him without believing in the words and everything that it says. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Man, eh? we just read that in first and second Peter. You know, the word diligent. He is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him, man. Just searching for him. Just looking for him. Just doing what he commands them to do, man. And it's a wonderful thing. And we're supposed to be telling our people this. The men of our nation, we're supposed to be telling the children of Israel that a better day is coming. We're supposed to be feeding the flock, man. And you're not supposed to be looking for money. You're looking to get paid for doing this. Nah, man. You already stacking up treasures in heaven. You're gonna be filthy stacking rich in the kingdom. You know? It's a beautiful thing too, man. It's a beautiful thing that you have Bashinaf Shah put his spirit on us to do this wonderful, glorious work, man. Straight up, man. This is Romans. Chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, man. So now we're learning that a new kingdom is coming, man. This one would not be remembered at all, man. You know, the former things are going to pass away, man. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. That we, the Israelites, <coughs> Salakia, the hopeful elect, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And I just read that too. In 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. These words give us hope, man. Hearing these words gives us faith that a better day is coming. Look, and that's what we're waiting on. That's what we're looking for. You know, we're not looking to make it here. You know, we're not looking to get famous here. That's why we're content with what we got, man. The scriptures say all things are possible what you have by Shemar. Shalom. The Lord is going to renew our strength. He's going to give us those perfect bodies. It's already waiting already. And that's what we're looking for. A better day, man. A better day is coming, right? A better day is coming for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. The Israelites. St. John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. So spiritually and mentally, we're free, man. From lies now, man. From the bondage of lies. We're free. We have been set free. Spiritually and mentally, and soon come, Lord willing, physically. Lord Yahweh Shai is gonna come back, and Lord willing, set us free physically, man. Lord's will, Lord's will. Let's get this. This is um. Bear, bear with me, Isaiah. Chapter 65, verse 17. For behold, the word behold means to look. I create new heavens and a new earth. You look up that word new, it's from the Greek kainos, which means to refresh, man. He's going to refresh the earth. You know, it's going to be the same earth, but he's going to refresh it once again. What's going to cleanse the earth? You know what I'm saying? Of its toxins, of its pollutions. 
fire man fire is what's gonna do it right those icbm missiles look and a new earth and the former this one right here the so-called white man's rulership shall not be remembered nor come into mind and when we fly over this place babylon aka america this is gonna be for a memorial man of what happens to a kingdom when it's being ran in wickedness man right that's the only thing that is look look it's gonna be a beautiful thing Look, it's gonna be beautiful, man. To see this place actually go, man. We look for new heavens and a new earth, man. New rulerships. And look, and though it tarry, you wait on it. You fight for it, right? Yeah, you're gonna catch hell and you're gonna go through the things that you're gonna go through. Look, you, you better keep fighting, though. Like the scriptures say, you, you better continue to fight, man. Fight that good fight of faith. Look, lay hold on eternal life. You can just be given the kingdom. You got to fight for the kingdom, man. Now look, once again, I don't know if you heard that. You look, you can just be given the kingdom. You got to fight for the kingdom. First Timothy chapter six, verse twelve. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Look, we're gonna live forever, man. You know, we ain't got to worry about no chemtrails in the air. We ain't got to worry about no fluoride in the water. We ain't got to worry about GMO foods. We ain't got to worry about AIDS, cancer, diabetes. Look, you Israelites, y'all don't want that. You know, we ain't got to worry about Israelite on Israelite crimes. We you know. We ain't got to worry about the lights being turned off. The water being turned off. We have to worry about our kids being shot down in the streets. We have to worry about none of that. A better day is coming. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Wherein too thou art also called. And it has professed a good profession before many witnesses and that's why we do these videos and that's why we go out there to the highways and byways to confess this word among many witnesses man to confess the gospel the good news man that guess what that a better day is coming a better day is coming man truth shall remain and faith shall wax strong and strong man and now look now faith is on swole right about now we pray for more faith we gotta constantly endure what we going through sit back patiently waiting on your how about she now shot and I want to get one more scripture and then I'm going to end it. This is Isaiah chapter 30 verse 18. And therefore will the Lord wait that he may be gracious unto you. And therefore he will be exalted that he may have mercy upon you. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is a power of judgment. Look, blessed are all they that wait for him. So look, once again, we're playing a waiting game right about now. A better day is coming, but you got to wait for it, man. You can't say, oh yeah, the Lord taking too long. Let me sell my soul. I need that bag. No, man. Blessed are they that wait for him. That wait for your how about you know, that wait for the new heavens and the new earth, man. Micah chapter 7, verse 7. Therefore, I will look unto the Lord. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. I will wait for the power of my salvation. My power will hear me, man. And the scriptures say, look, the most I hear the prayers of the righteous, man. He hear our prayers, man. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 25. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him, man. So you got to be seeking the Lord right about now, man. You know? You got to be seeking your high about Shemel Shai right now. Verse 26. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 26. It look, it is good that a man should both hope. You're going right back to faith, right? And quietly wait 
for the salvation of the Lord. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Sit back. Sit back, relax. The Lord is coming, man. Look, look, uh, look, rest is prepared, man. Rest is prepared, man. The Lord said he's going to give us rest, man. You know. And I can go on and go on and go on, man. I mean, this word is so beautiful. It's, it's comforting. It comforts the soul. To know that a better day is coming. That a righteous ruler is coming. A righteous ruler is coming. Only thing we got to do is just wait for it. Constantly pray, Akims. And you aquas that's out there is tuning in to the spirit. Pray, 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 and mo pray. A better day is coming. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head of apostles and elders of Great Millstone. The one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim, man. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Look where God's with people here for that. A better day is coming. Shalom.